Hi guys, it's Patrick Zayn, back in another video, and today I'm going to be predicting week 14 of the NFL 2020 season, predicting who I think will win each game, and before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know, if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me down below, I'll leave a link in the description, because I put sports news that I don't put up here, and you'll just get more content of me and all the up-to-date sports news for the NHL, NBA, NFL, and MLB, if you're following me down below. And with that said, let's get right into the video, starting with Thursday Night Football. So on Thursday Night Football, we have the New England Patriots taking on the Los Angeles Rams in LA. So I'm gonna pick the Rams to win this game because I just think they're gonna be able to beat the Patriots here, but I would not be surprised if the Pats win, but I am gonna pick the Rams. So I personally think they're gonna win this game on Thursday Night Football at home, and I just don't think the Patriots win, but you guys can let me know down below who you think will win all these games as well to see what your opinions are because everybody has their own opinion on these games. But I believe Jared Goff probably has an okay game, maybe a good game, we'll see. And I think he leads this team to victory against the Patriots. Let's get into the Sunday 1 o'clock games. And before we get into those, I just want to let you guys know nobody is on their bye week this week, so every team is playing. So there are 16 games. Now let's get into the Sunday 1 o'clock games. First, we have the Tennessee Titans taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars in Jacksonville. So I think the Titans are going to win this game. The Jaguars, they did give up a good fight against the Vikings, but I just think the Titans are a lot better of a team than the Jaguars. And the Titans just blow this one out with Derrick Henry, Ryan Tannehill, A.J. Brown, and etc. I just think they have a really good game, the Titans, and their defense holds that Jaguars offense, and this is just a blowout. But you never know, maybe the Jaguars come into this one and somehow stay competitive, but I just don't see it happening. I think this is going to be a blowout by the Titans. So I'm going to pick the Titans to win. Let's get into the next game. Next, we have the Vikings taking on the Buccaneers in Tampa Bay. So I'm going to pick the Buccaneers to win this game because the Vikings almost lost to the Jaguars last week. And I don't think the Jaguars should be able to compete with you if you're a really good team and trying to make the playoffs. So I just think the Buccaneers are going to win this game at home, try and stay getting that number one seed. Don't know if they're going to be successful, but at least their attempt of trying to do it. And let's get into the next game. Next, we have the Chiefs taking on the Dolphins in Miami. So I'm going to pick the Chiefs to win this game because now that the Steelers have lost their first game on the year, I think the Chiefs are probably the best team in the NFL because there's no team that's undefeated anymore. And I just don't think the Dolphins will be able to stop this offense. I do think the Dolphins will give a good fight to the Chiefs, but I just think the Chiefs are a little too much and they'll win this game against the Dolphins. So let's get into the next game. Next, we have the Broncos taking on my Panthers. So I'm going to pick my Panthers to win, but I could easily see the Broncos coming in here and winning. But I am going to pick the Panthers because Christian McCaffrey should be coming back this week, except if he gets some injury, re-aggravate something during practice. But if that doesn't happen, then he will be playing this week for the Carolina Panthers for the first time since when they played the Chiefs in Kansas City. So I think the Panthers will win and Christian McCaffrey will have a great game because DJ Moore and Curtis Samuel are both on the COVID list at the time of filming. We might have more players added. We might have players removed. We'll have to see. But if all the players that are on it now stay on it, I just don't think the offense is going to be able to do that much without Christian McCaffrey. So I think they're going to try to give Christian McCaffrey a lot of carries and maybe just some throws out of the backfield. So I am going to pick the Panthers to win, but I think this is going to be a very close game. But I pick the Panthers to win. Let's get into the next game. Next, we have the Texans taking on the Bears in Chicago at 1 o'clock. This game, I think, is going to be a very good game because the Bears just lost to the Lions. Bears have not been playing well recently, but the Texans have been playing pretty good, I would say, overall. Yes, they've been losing games, but they've been staying really close with Deshaun Watson. So I think the Texans get a win here in Chicago, and Deshaun Watson has a great game. And yes, he's losing some of his, receiv his receivers to injury and suspensions, but I still do think he's able to get the win here against the Bears. Let's get into the next game. Next, we have the Cardinals versus the Giants in New York. Giants still trying to win the NFC East. They get a huge upset win against the Seahawks in Seattle. Now they get to get, come home and play the Arizona Cardinals. So I'm going to pick the Cardinals to win this game. I just think Kyler Murray, Andre Hopkins, and the rest of that offense and defense of the Cardinals is a little bit too much for the Giants, but I think they'll keep it pretty close. The Giants have been playing very well this season as of late. And I think they keep it close, but I do think the Cardinals get the slight edge and get the win and try to win that NFC West division title. Let's get into the next game. Next, we have the Cowboys taking on the Bengals in Cincinnati at 1 p.m. Eastern. So in this one, I think it could go either way because the Bengals without Joe Burrow aren't really great. And then the Cowboys have been okay. I'm probably going to go with the Cowboys here because I just think that those three offensive weapons is just a little bit too much. C.D. Lamb, Michael Gallup, Amari Cooper, and Zeke if he can 
wake up a little bit. And Andy Dalton is playing his former team in this game. So I think the Cowboys will win, but I think it'll be a very close game. And the Cowboys haven't been playing well this year since Dak's been injured. They were playing well before, but once he got injured, this team has really not played well for the Cowboys. And then the Bengals, since Burrow's been injured, hasn't really been playing well. I am going to pick the Cowboys to get the narrow win. Let's get into the four or five games. First, we have the Colts taking on the Las Vegas Raiders in Las Vegas, Nevada. So I'm going to pick the Colts to win this game because the Raiders got embarrassed by the Falcons two weeks ago. Last week, only beat the Jets because the Jets brought an all-out blitz with 13 seconds left. If you should be playing prevent defense, not bring in all-out blitz, but that's besides the point. That's why... The Jets defense coordinator has been fired. Adam Gay should probably be fired too. We'll have to see what the Jets decide to do, but I personally think it's time to fire him. Look for a new head coach. Adam Gay has really not done anything great in New York, so I would look for someone else. He was trying to get rid of Le'Veon Bell as soon as they signed him to that huge contract. And I am going to pick the Colts to win this game, but I think it will be close. But the Raiders just have not been playing good of late, so I think the Colts have a better chance of winning this game. So I'm going to pick the Colts to win. Let's get into the next game. Next, we have the Jets versus Seahawks at 4 or 5 p.m. in Seattle. So Jamal Adams gets to play his former team, the New York Jets, who traded him. So I think Jamal Adams this is going to be a really big game for him because he wants to show his former team that they should have got even more value for him and show that he was worth more. I know he wanted to get traded from New York, but I think he wants to show like how good he is. But I think the Seahawks get the win here at home. I know they did lose to the Giants last week at home, but I don't think they lose to the Jets and give them their first win. But you never know what can happen. The Raiders almost did. But I do think that the Seahawks will win this game at home. And Russell Wilson has a great game. DK Metcalf. I think Jamal Adams also has a good game on that defense. So I am going to pick the Seahawks to win. Let's get into the next game. Next, we have the Packers taking on the Lions at 425 p.m. in Detroit. So I'm going to pick the Packers to win this game in Detroit because I just don't think the Lions have been playing that well. I know that they did beat the Bears last week, but the Bears just haven't really been playing well. So I don't know if that's really a huge win. I don't think they come in here and beat the division leader in the NFC North, the Green Bay Packers here. So I think the Packers are just too good of a team. So I think the Packers get the win in Detroit and try to compete for that number one seed with the Saints, Buccaneers, etc. in the NFC. So I am going to pick the Packers to win this game. Let's get into the next game. Next at 425 p.m., we have the Falcons taking on the Chargers in L.A. So in this game, I'm going to pick the Falcons to win because the Falcons have been playing pretty good of late, and the Chargers just have been playing good with Herbert. It's just they can't finish out games, and their special team has been very bad this year. So that's why I am going to pick the Falcons to win. But I would not be surprised if we see the Chargers win. But I am going to pick the Falcons to win in L.A. Let's get into the next game. Next, we have football team taking on the 49ers at 425 p.m. in Arizona. Because the 49ers short-term home stadium for right now is State Farm Stadium since they can't play in San Francisco right now. So that's why they are playing in Arizona for their home games. But we'll have to see if that changes as the season progresses and San Francisco lets them play back in their home stadium. But for now, they're not allowed to. So that's why they're playing in Arizona for the time being. And I think football team's going to win this game. Football team's been playing very well. They just upset the Steelers, who were undefeated and gave them their first loss on the year. So I think they beat the 49ers here in Arizona. Let's get into the next game. Next, we have the Saints taking on the Eagles in Philadelphia at 425 p.m. I'm going to pick the Saints to win this game because I do like how the Eagles are playing, especially that this week they're starting Jalen Hurts, which I think is the right decision because Carson Wentz hasn't been playing good. And I think the only way you have a chance at winning this division is if Jalen Hurts comes in, which they brought in at the end of last game and now is getting a full start. And I think that's the right decision by the Eagles, but I don't think it's enough to beat the Saints because the Saints are a really good team and right now have the number one seed in the NFC. So it'd be pretty hard for the Eagles to come out and beat that team. So I am going to pick the Saints to win. Let's get into Sunday Night Football. So on Sunday Night Football, we have the Steelers taking on the Bills at 8.20 p.m. So in this game, Steelers coming off that lost to the football team. Bills coming off a huge win. I'm going to pick the Bills to win, but I could easily see the Steelers win. I would not be surprised if I see this game go either way, but I am going to pick the Bills because I like how Stephon Diggs has been playing, Josh Allen. I just like how that whole offense has been playing, so I am going to pick the Bills to win, but I would not be surprised if we see the Steelers win. I think this is a very close game and will be a very good matchup on Sunday night, but I am going to pick the Bills to win. Let's get into the next game. Next on Monday Night Football, we have the Ravens taking on the Browns in Cleveland at 8 at 15 p.m. So the first time these two teams met, the Ravens just destroyed the Browns. But I think this time the Browns are going to win because now the Browns are getting their chemistry. They're in a flow. They're 9-3. and three. Ravens are 7-5. and five, And I just don't think they're going to be able to beat the Browns. And I think the Browns are trying to get that 
division lead from the Steelers if they can keep losing a bit and the Browns keep winning. And I think the Browns get a win here. But I do think this will be a good game. I think Lamar Jackson will be pretty good against this Browns defense. But I just don't think they get the win again and sweep the season series. I think the Browns win this game in the season series. Let me know down below if you disagree with any of my picks. And if there are any changes for these games, I'll let you know in the pinned comment down below. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.